This is crazy. We just got in another Bitcoin miner. This is a second unit of the best Bitcoin miner in the world right now. It's called the Bitmain Ant Miner S21. And these miners are pulling in around 20 bucks a day in passive income mining Bitcoin. Bitcoin, you know, what's going to be a multi trillion dollar asset. You know, Bitcoin, that thing that takes money away from the government and puts the power of the money back into the hands of the people, just like Benjamin wanted for us, at least here in the States. Bitcoin, it's pretty exciting and this is pretty profitable. And uh, just like DJ Khaled said, another one. One thing in particular I found pretty interesting is the fact that this uh, S21 that we just got in from Apexto mining is wrapped in green and it's pretty funny and just like very easily identified. And I actually really appreciate the fact that they wrap this in, let's call it camouflage, even though they put Apexto S21 on it, which is taken away from some of the camouflage. I don't like people knowing that this is a Bitmain amp miner. If somebody takes the time to look up what is a Bitmain amp miner, they see these devices that sell for thousands and thousands of dollars. And right now, we had a package that was delivered that we're still working on recovering. And it just kind of makes you wonder, did somebody not so accidentally lose it? All right, so we've arrived on scene at the farm. This is the Bitmain amp miner S21. This is the second one we've got in. It's been a very exciting, climactic week. And it's been very cold this week. It's, it's snowing. It's snowing. It's still snowing. It's been snowing for a while. Welcome to Virginia where like you'll melt your face off in the summer and then you'll become an ice cube in the winter. And also maybe at other random times because the weather is defined often it is unpredictable. So we've got the digital shovel mini pod fixed. So let's get this thing thrown up in there and start farming some big corn out here on the mining farm. And oh, it's also just a farm. It lives. <laughs> it lives. Bitcoin put out over $37 million in a mission just in the last 24 hours. Yeah, it's a lot of money. That's why so many wild Bitcoin mining farms continue to be built out, even while staring into the face of the Bitcoin having. I mean, look at the cumulative emissions of all of what you could, you want to round up, say the competitors are to Bitcoin. It's not even close. Elephant in the room, Bitcoin having in less than 100 days. It will cut the amount of Bitcoins mined per day in half. Let's just say, you know, roughly if nothing else changes, this number gets cut in half. Uh, that's a severe blow to mining profitability, uh, and it's going to make it, you know, hard to operate a Bitcoin mining farm. For this video, we are working with Apex though. And uh, look, I hit Apexes all the time, but I'm talking about on the track in the Bitcoin. Supra. We have not worked with Apex Toe previously, but in our initial cooperation, they've been great to work with. And after our initial review of them, we chose to open an affiliate account. Uh, so it would be awesome if you do decide to buy an Ant Miner S21 after watching this video. If you do use our link in the video description below, but even more importantly, punch in the code BOSSCOIN, just like this to save some coin and be advised when you look at their prices uh you may incur a shipping charge on top of them uh so this is going to be for example what the total price is for ordering a bitmain amp miner s21 200 terahash a second version from them 
right now. And let's talk about the specs. Per their specs, 3,550 watts. Per Bitmain, 3,500 watts. Per our testing, the 3,550 is much closer. It's the Antminer S21. It is the new generation of the Antminer S19, which was the standard for Bitcoin mining for many years. It is big. It is power hungry. It's potentially kind of loud. It's not a revolutionary advancement over the S19 series, at least the later generations that were produced, but yeah, it, it is substantial. If we go over to Bitmain right now, we could go in their shop and we could order uh, this miner from them. And at a glance, it looks like a better deal. But when you order from Bitmain, you're always paying tariffs. When you order from resellers, at least in my experience, you normally do not. That is a 30% surcharge in the USA, which really makes these prices pretty much comparable. So don't think that these resellers are just, you know, just swimming in lavish profits. Their business, even in this current market conditions, are tighter than many people realize. I do not like that Bitmain has moved to this new plug type, but we've already kind of talked about that. They're sending an adapter cable that goes out to a C20 interface, and uh, you know, it, it, it'll do for now. It'll do for now. Uh, I think they're gonna backtrack on this decision, uh, but TBD, we will see. So let's remote into the Voscoy mining farm, and uh, we can see this miner is performing well. Over the last day, it's averaging about 203 uh, terahash second per the dashboard here. Uh, we look at the miner running time. It's been up over a day. I'm going to shoot a mining profitability splice in on this uh, with even more data. And we are mining to the brains mining pool. So go ahead and queue up the zombie jokes. So let's head over to brains. We are closing in on three pay to hash a second, which is wild. It's crazy how much hash rate these new Bitcoin miners add. Uh, but looking at the performance here, I mean, let's sort it by daily hash rate. Guess who's up there at the top? The S21, as it is outperforming, you know, at least when measured simply by hash rate, the micro BT what's minor M60S, which is the micro BT what's minor latest generation release of Bitcoin miners. But I will say that that thing has been great. It has been rock solid. So looking at the hash rate, it's pretty steady. It's fine. It's good. It's getting it done. It's good performance. I have another S21 on another mining pool where I'll be able to give you a clear readout of the mining profitability. Because for example, yesterday, I just have only my cumulative mining profitability uh, from this mining pool, which is I'm sitting at about 200 bucks a day. And uh, you know, keep in mind, mining Bitcoin is difficult now. Look at this. We just hit another all time high in Bitcoin mining difficulty. Bitcoin mining difficulty adjusts every two week. It's programmed. Two weeks ago, new all time high. Three weeks ago, actually went down a little bit. Four weeks ago, new all time high, 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 new all time high. I mean, I'm not trying to be annoying, it's not dramatic, but like, it's crazy. Let's look at the three year chart. Oh, Bitcoin has not hit a new all time high in price. And yet the mining difficulty has basically tripled since the previous Bitcoin mining all time high. Put that into perspective. How bullish is that? According to AMV, which just isn't working, right? For the first time this happened, let's go down to nine cents per kilowatt hour as our electricity projection. We're supposed to be mining $18.36 of Bitcoins per day. It will cost us about $8.40 to run. Uh, so, you know, we pretty much cleared 10 bucks. That's going to be uh, you know, after we pay the electricity bill, 18 bucks turns to nine bucks in less than 100 days. Uh, so this is basically a break even miner at around 10 cents per kilowatt hour. If everything stays the same right now, then all the S19 Bitcoin miners will be going underwater uh, at that time. So that's pretty crazy. So if you have a higher electricity rate compared to Bitcoin mining farms, but still a good electricity rate, like say 10 cents per kilowatt hour, the Bitmain Antminer S21 is going to be literally one of the only ways to stay 
in the game. And that's largely due to its 17 and a half joules per terahash efficiency, which is the same as 17 and a half watts per terahash efficiency. If you compare that to say the Bitmain Antminer S19XP, uh, that had around 21 and a half uh, watts per terahash efficiency at best. When we look at the Bitcoin mining difficulty, it's actually gone down, which means it's less difficult to mine Bitcoin. So at a glance, you would think that you would be mining more Bitcoin, but it, I haven't actually really been able to realize much more Bitcoin mined. And perhaps that's due to transaction fees uh, being lower on the network, and, you know, just the actual amount of bitcoins going to the miners uh, but at a glance it's unusual it's like okay so we were at 73 and then we corrected all the way down to 70 and this is one of the biggest mining difficulty corrections uh, that we've seen in the last year i mean this is this is substantial when we zoom out this is the biggest difficulty correction in the last year and you have to go all the way back to november of 2022 to get a comparable correction what's the emission looking like it's about 38 million dollars in bitcoin uh, right now and to put that difficulty change into a perspective it's down four percent over the last seven days so what has the real world mining profitability been like for this miner we've actually got two of them in uh this is not the miner that we've been looking at but it's literally the exact same model and, and let me explain right so we've got two of these one is on the brains mining pool but it's wrapped under our uh, account that has multiple miners on it uh, we've got about two and a half petahash which is pretty freaking cool i'm pretty excited to be closing in on that three petahash marking uh what's notable here is even with the difficulty drop recently and the addition of mining power looking at the actual earned bitcoins right i'm, I'm at 2.3 2.4 petahash earning about you know 0 0.0043 bitcoin or 0 0.0046 and i'm still mining around that figure with the increased mining power so at, at a glance right it, it's a little confusing and, and that's why you always need to break miners off uh, to look at their actual real world mining profitability or put them in some sort of sub account when we look at the exact performance of the Bitmain Antminer S21 from a Pexto. Uh, we see very good performance. 204 hash or terahash uh, per second is the average hash rate per the mining pool over the last 24 hours. And that's gonna be, you know, your contributing factor of what you get paid off of. Uh, so that's very good. That's exactly what we're looking for. And uh, we take that figure and we compare it to an S21 we have on another mining pool. This is the correlated amount of Bitcoin that we are mining. And when we take that 0 0.0003 and I know I could be talking in Satoshis and all that stuff, but the bottom line is I wish that Bitcoin would move the decimal point, right? Uh, because if we were mining 36,000 Bitcoins per day, but they weren't worth that much, that would be sound so much more exciting. It's, it's a mental thing with humans. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing. But the bottom line here is with the recent Bitcoin price correction, right? At time of recording this, about $41,000 per Bitcoin. We're mining about $15 per day with the Bitmain Antminer S21. Uh, which at that number, these figures, it does leave me scared for the having. But I'm confident and I'm bullish in the long term. That's why I'm still here. That's why I'm still building. That's why I'm still expanding. But as always, you do whatever you want to do. The Bitmain Antminer S21 is going to become the new standard in Bitcoin mining. Even if a lot of these units are faulty, uh, out of the gates, even if X, Y, Z, whatever. Due to the price point, due to Bitmain's manufacturing capabilities, due to their previous track record, unless these things are just absolutely abysmal, forcing everyone to go elsewhere to have any sort of faith, uh, and it's unlikely that they're going to be absolutely that bad, uh, the S21s are going to become the new standard in Bitcoin mining. Like, if you're like, I want to earn passive income mining Bitcoin, well, you're going to be buying an S21 most likely. The Micro BT What's Miners, the recent release, have been great. I cannot understate that. Uh, but everybody figured that out quickly, including myself, and uh, we've bought them all. They're sold out right now. They can't even meet the demand. Just, you know, put that into perspective with where the future Bitcoin mining difficulty is going. And put that into perspective with the bullish outlook of Bitcoin mining farm operators. You know, this is a good miner. It's good performance. Um, I'm happy with it. And I'm sure that Bitmain is going to torture us with like 29 future variations of the S21.
So as always, that's all I've got. I'm going to close this video out with 10 seconds of tales in our CBO, our chief Bitcoin office here at the Voscoin YouTube channel. I remember, I'm Vos, you're watching the Voscoin YouTube channel, but I guess that was kind of redundant. I pretty much already said that. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say, hey, hope you liked it. Please subscribe if you have not already. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the Antminer S21 down in the uh, comment section below. And let me know if I missed anything or any sort of things you want to see in future videos as far as ASIC miner reviews because we try to re review every crypto miner possible. Uh, and then also any other additional information you may be interested in on the Bitmain Ant Miner S21 in particular. Goodbye.